Hi there, my name is Nicole Young, and in this tutorial, I'm going to do kind of a follow up to a previous video that I did where I showed how to apply texture in Photoshop. And I got a question, and the question was asking me if I could demonstrate how to apply a blur to the texture and then basically mask that away to keep some of the color over the image. So let me go ahead and jump right into it so I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to access my textures here and I'm just going to drag and drop one of my textures over my Photoshop document. This brings the texture in as a smart object. And to do this technique, you want to make sure that your texture layer is a smart object. If you didn't drag and drop it this way, and if it's not a smart object to begin with, you can just right click over the file and it will allow you to convert it into a smart object. Next, I'm gonna change the blending mode. So I'll go up to that blending mode in the layers panel, and I'm gonna go down to overlay. Now before I actually show you the blur method, I'm going to show you just a standard masking so you can kind of compare and contrast the differences. So I'm going to start out just by adding a simple layer mask to this. And then I'm going to access my brush tool and I want to make sure that I'm painting out. So I'm going to make sure that the brush color is black. I'm also going to make sure that I'm painting with a very soft edged brush so that hardness needs to be at zero. And then I'll just start brushing away. And it looks my, like my opacity is at 50%, and that's fine. But as you can see, when I brush that away, let me just kind of toggle that mask on and off. What's happening is it's masking the texture layer, but it's also removing the color. And if I hide the texture layer, the original image is a lot more cool and the texture, of course, is adding a nice kind of a warm color cast to the image. And so I'd like to retain that color across the photo without the texture showing in some of those in-focus parts of the flower. So I'm going to delete this, and I'm just going to drag it down to the trash icon inside of that Layers panel. And with that texture layer active, I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now I'm just going to kind of play around with my blur slider to see what uh, kind of effect I want. And I think I want to make this pretty blurry. So I want to blur out all of the details. And so I'll just leave it set there and then I'll click OK. Now right off the bat, this is actually a really cool effect. Almost as if I photographed this with like a standard muslin backdrop. But if you want to keep that, uh, that really kind of textury effect, that really crisp texture, but you want to remove it from the flower, then you just need to mask the smart filter. So this big white box here is a mask for all of the smart filters. And here I only have one smart filter applied, which is that Gaussian blur. But the mask right now is completely white, which means it's showing the entire blur effect on all of the image. But what I would like to do is only show that effect on the flowers. So I'm going to begin by inverting this mask. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control I, and that makes that mask black. Now that blur effect is being hidden. So I still have that brush tool active, but now I need to paint with white instead of black. So I'm going to press X to toggle the white to black. And by the way, if you don't have your swatches as black and white to begin with, you can always press D, which is going to default them. So white is your foreground color and black is your background color. That's just a good keyboard shortcut to have in your back pocket. I still have that opacity set to 50% at the top and my hardness is still set to zero. So now I'm just going to start brushing away over this front flower here. I could also go down to some of the other flowers if I wanted to kind of remove some of that crisp texture. So now if I go back over to my layers panel, I can toggle that Gaussian blur on and off. And you can see it's a very subtle effect, but it does help remove that texture from the flower portion of the image. Again, this is a great way to add a texture that has some color in it and still retain that color across your entire image and not remove it when you're doing your masking to remove the actual texture from a portion of your image.